Hello, I'm Jochen Henke, a professor at TUM School of Management. The European Union does many good things for its citizens. The problem is we often don't fully appreciate them or we take them for granted or we are not even aware of them. Let me give you a few examples. Technical University of Munich has a lively exchange with more than 300 partner institutions across Europe. Every year, about 800 foreign guest students come to Technical University of Munich and more than 1,200 German TUM students go abroad to one of our European partners, all supported by the European Union's Erasmus Plus program. For researchers, some scholars have taken part in 288 Framework 7 programs, research programs by the European Union and have acquired a total funding of about 160 million euros. And it's not only about the funding, it's a lot about the opportunity to collaborate across the continent. To give an example beyond academia, the European Union and in particular the European competition authorities, they can take on large international corporations when it comes to competition issues. And the most recent example is the fine against Google of 2.4 billion euros for the abuse of market power. And just overall, the trade volume within the European Union between its member states is an annual 3 trillion of euros. So it is an amount that would never have been possible without the single European market. But as I said, we are often not really aware of these benefits or we take them for granted. And the tragic of the Brexit is that millions of UK citizens have voted based on a lack of information or really uh, completely false information. So the idea of the European Union Week is to provide a forum for learning and discussing the European Union. We have a string of events in the first week of July, starting with the kickoff on Monday and two major evening events Wednesday, Thursday, and a couple of minor talks during the week. In particular for the kickoff on Monday, we are proud to have two fascinating speakers. We have Peter Berkowitz from the European Commission and Felix Reinshagen, who is CEO and founder of a Munich-based startup, Navis, which successfully internationalizes across Europe and beyond. The idea, uh, the event, the European Union Week, is open to all. It's for TUM students, TUM faculty, TUM employees, but also the wider public. The program is available on the internet. You can easily find it by searching for European Union Week at TUM. And we hope to inform about the European Union. Now, to be clear, we are not saying that everything is perfect with the European Union. There certainly must be a debate about how the European Union needs to be organized in the future. But it's a debate about how it should be and not if. There is no doubt that European integration is the only way forward for this continent. So we do hope that the European Union Week increases knowledge for all participants about the European Union and also revives enthusiasm for this unique historic project.